Well, here's a scary fact. Shopping online just got even easier. And thanks to a new technology, it's not just the big retailers like Amazon or iTunes that are raking in the cash, but smaller business owners who are also seeing green. Here to talk to us about how this new cash replacement is changing the landscape of retail, we have our resident tech expert, Alan Hoffman. Welcome, and uh, thank you for joining us, Alan. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about this new cash replacement, and you have a great term for it that I really like, so let's talk about that. Right, I mean, they have the digital wallet. Love so it. it's basically this replacement for this thing that's in your pocket that we've carried around for years, and the idea is that maybe in the next five, 10 years, the wallet is just going to become this anachronism and you'll be an old fogey if you are <laughs> carrying this around with you. Right, or totally retro. Yes, exactly. Right. It would be this cool fashion accessory. Cool. Now, in most people's wallets, they have their kids' pictures. You can keep that on your phone. Right. Um, they have... Uh, they have ways of spending money. Credit cards. Right. Cash. Uh, so licenses, the yeah, yeah. little receipts, all of that. You can keep all of that on your phone now. Pretty much, pretty much. I mean, right now, what the big transition that's happening is this idea that you might be able to have an app on your phone mm -hmm. and you walk into a store and rather than pulling out some cash or a credit card or maybe even a check, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you would basically just take out your phone and a code would appear on your phone and maybe you'd have a, uh, a, a password that you would enter mm -hmm. and then you would buy your purchase without ever having cash or your credit card or wow. anything. You would just swipe it in front of something. And that, that's happening now. I mean, I've done it to buy coffee mainly. Oh yeah, I do it all the time. I actually just did it during our break. Excellent. Uh, but what, I didn't really. Uh, what about, it's not just consumers that are benefiting from this though, it's also small business owners. Uh, can you talk a little about that? Right, there's this device that was popularized by, by this guy who co-founded Twitter, mm -hmm. and then he also came out with a device called the Square. It's a very small thing mm -hmm. that you plug into, believe it or not, the, the headphone jack of your phone, and then it has a little piece where you can swipe a credit card against that. So let's say if you want to sell you know, coffee, you want to sell your artwork, whatever it is that you want to do, you can get one of these devices for free, oh. and then you can just then take credit card payments just by having someone swipe this against the phone. This summer at my town pool, <laughs> that is what they were using to take payments for hot dogs and hamburgers and other things like that. Right, so we're assuming that people are bringing their credit cards everywhere then if we're gonna have the square Yes. As universal as it is. Now that's for all types of smartphones or is it specific? It, no, it's for all types of smartphones now. And mm -hmm. you don't have to use the Square device, Intuit, who makes Quicken. They have some, a comparable thing. So there are actually other companies now that are getting into this since mm -hmm. they really see that this is one of the ways that small businesses are going to want to take payments, process payments. This is a very easy way to get into credit card processing. Sure. And now if the Square is free, then that means that there's probably a charge for the consumer or for the business owner? For the business owner. Okay. Just just like when business owners take credit cards otherwise, they're usually charged maybe 2 or 3% of the purchase price. Mm -hmm. It's the same with the square. I don't know the exact percentage, but I think it's about 2 and a quarter percent, something like that. Okay, but I mean, it's worth it for the convenience. Yes, exactly. Right, that's what they want you to believe. Right. Okay, now what about security? Because if somebody steals your wallet, all they have to do is reach in, grab your, ca grab your cash, grab your credit card. Now, if somebody gets your phone, and there's two sides of that. Either there's more security around it or there's online theft and fraud. Exactly. And it is scary. And I think that this is exactly why this is not going to happen next year or two years from now. People are going to have to sort of edge into this. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. About six months ago, I lost my wallet. Or actually, it was stolen on the subway in New York. And then I just was like, what? And I realized I had to call all of these places. And there were things in there, my Metro card, cash, it's just gone. If your phone is stolen, all of the companies now have this thing where you can basically call in to erase the data on it immediately. Oh. Beyond that, mm -hmm. you can also, all of these apps are tied to passwords. So because of that, you know, you can basically, you know, if someone doesn't have your password, they're really not going to be able to, you know, they can't go out and buy a TV because they don't have your credit card, they can't enter that password. So it's, it's in some ways a little more difficult to, and maybe even more secure with the phone. It's, it's a little counterintuitive, but mm -hmm. I think, you know, the wallet, we think of it as secure, but you lose it and it's, it's not that great. Right, because then you're left scrambling, calling and canceling <laughs> your cards. Yes. And, but of course, 
you know, if you do lose your wallet, that's you lose whatever's in it, you lose your phone, that's easily $600 if you say have the iPhone and you want to replace it, you don't have the warranty or you're not due for an upgrade. Yes, it's true. And certainly these phones are not cheap. I mean, they're like, like you said, 300, 400 bucks. It's a lot. You don't want to lose your phone, but maybe security wise, it's, it's, it's easier to recover from that than it is if you have to lose your wallet. Sure. And here's a good idea. If you have the wallet chain, but the chain goes to your phone instead. <laughs> exactly. Right? That's part of the new fashion accessory. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and copyright that right after the show, <laughs> so don't even think about stealing that. And uh, with the iPhone 5, is it now yes. it, you know, making headlines everywhere because everybody just has to have the latest? What do you think? You know, I think the I, I pre-ordered one this morning, I will uh. admit, so I'm, <laughs> I'm an iPhone fan. I think it's going to be great. And the iPhone actually has a, a digital wallet component, too. It's called uh -huh. Passbook, uh -huh. and it's not for cash. It's not for making mm -hmm. purchases, but it's a place where you can keep in things like your, your um, airline tickets and other things like that. So uh, the, the iPhone's going to be a wallet, too. Oh, something else you need to be nervous about losing. Ah, well, thank you so much. That, it's been really uh, informational.